Are you ready to leave, Dust? I think so, yes. We need to get back to the surface and find that manor Lady Tethys mentioned. Yes, I know of the place she spoke of. An old estate at the foot of the mountains called the Sorrowing Meadow. The Sorrowing Meadow? Is that somewhere between Blood Death Gulch and Endless Pain Hill? It was not always called that, Fidget. It was once a peaceful place. But even now, as we stand so far away from it, I can feel something nefarious emanating from its foundations. Well, that's great! Really, I'm excited. How about you, Dust? You excited? I'm just thrilled, Fidget. Come on, let's get back to the surface. General Gaius, you asked for me? Your report, Commander. What news do you bring? Our scouts believe he is alive, General. But his actions are... curious. Curious? How so? He ventured into the Siramon Caverns and saved a village of natives. As I understand it, his actions got the water flowing again. If what you tell me is true, Cassius would never... No. Cassius would never. Keep me informed of the situation, Commander. That is all. When did you grow a heart, my friend? Most unlike you. Welcome back! Do you sell children's toys? Or more specifically, Nimbat dolls? A Nimbat doll? You mean like your flying friend there? I don't believe we have anything like that in stock. But I aim to please. I'm certain I could craft one for you, assuming I had the proper materials. Let me see. With some cotton fabric and dye, I'm certain I could make a wonderful Nimbat doll for you. I gotta say, Dust, I'm feeling a little uneasy about this whole thing. What's to feel uneasy about, Fidget? You're adorable. I think I might have him make another Fidget doll that I'll just hang on to. Forever. I don't know you anymore. Ah, excellent! You've brought all the materials! Would you like me to make the doll now? Wonderful! Now, if your companion will just lie down on this fabric... Hey, you're not tracing me! Oh, well, I do need some sort of measurement. <laughs> we don't see many Nimbats around here. Here, give me a pen. I'll draw it myself. Okay, there. Done. See how well I've captured every nuanced curve? Uh... See? You can use this to measure your doll. It's perfect! Ha! <laughs> no, it really isn't. Actually, that's the worst drawing I've ever seen. Just shut up and make this stupid doll. Okay, okay. Just give me a moment. Uh, some cotton here, a few stitches there. Uh, maybe a little more cotton up there in the head area? I don't think you're accurately capturing the pure size of Fidget's head. My head is just fine. You're the ones wearing those stupid hats. Maybe you two could form a stupid hat club. And voila! Another happy customer. And I even had enough material to make an extra one. No, oh, I wasn't expecting to actually get one. I guess I'll just have to carry it around. Forever. I actually feel bad giving one of these ugly things to Smobop, but here we go. I'm not talking to you anymore. Here are those materials you asked for, Fail. Great! Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. I'd like to upgrade our weapons. These spears, while primitive, have finely chiseled stone tips that we can use for arrowheads. If you could bring me eight beast spears, I'll buy them for a high price. Okay, Smobop, here's a fidget doll for you. Better than the real thing. Ooh, she's pretty. Here, you can have this. Thanks, Smobop. Hmm, Bob gave it to me a little while ago. He found it near the surface, I think. 
Well, thank you. Enjoy your fidget. I love my doll. I love her so much. Love, love, love. You found it! Quickly, give it to me! Relax, Reed. It's just a box. Just a box? No, no, it's not just a box. Didn't you hear it whispering to you? The whispers. The lies. I'll say. They told me the box was filled with cupcakes. I opened it up and nothing was inside. Oh! Oh, no, 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 you opened the box! Why did you open the box? I told you not to open the box! Quick, take it back! I can't hold this! Hey, what are you doing? I thought you wanted your box back. I went through a lot of trouble getting that. Yeah, we had to find this girl in Mudpaw and then make her a doll that looked like me, then trade the doll for the box. Honestly, it was a bit roundabout. Do you know what you've done? You've unleashed the power inside this ancient prison, and now it will consume your very soul! Okay, Reed, I really think it's time you went inside and got some sleep. I think... Wait, what's happening to me? There's something... something wrong with me! Reed, what was that? What's going on? I feel... I feel... weak. Like something's sucking the life right out of my body! Then it's already started. Oh, why did you have to open the box? I said not to open the box! Look, let's not dwell on the whole who opened the box thing. The box was open. That's in the past. We can't change that. We should be focusing on the future and, you know, less about me. The presence inside this box, it latches onto your soul, tries to take over your mind. The only way to stop it is to break the barrier between body and soul. In other words, Dust, you will need to kill yourself. Reed! It really is the only way, Dust. You mustn't take too long, or or you could end up like me. You know what? I love this plan. I'm happy to be a part of it. <sighs> Shut up, Fidget! I can feel my life draining away every moment. Reed, what do I have to do? Travel outside the village, pick a fight with some monsters, and lose. If you do it in time, the presence latched onto your soul will be shaken loose and returned to the box, and you will return back to your normal self. That is, assuming you do it in time. Dust, you can't seriously be considering. Fidget, I don't have time to argue. I can feel it draining my life away. We need to get out of the village and fast! <gasps> As soon as I took that killing blow, I felt something. Like a weight lifted. We should check in with Reed. Yeah. The sooner you get rid of that box, the better. You were right, Reed. Somehow that killing blow managed to shake the presence free. 
I'm back to my normal self again. I'm glad that's the case. Anyway, I was planning on using this Revival Stone on you if my plan didn't work, but it should still serve as an adequate reward. Wait, what do you mean, if your plan didn't work? Well, it did, didn't it? So, now I have no use for this Revival Stone, and you can take it. Hopefully, you'll never have to use it. Yes, well, you keep that box under lock and key. We're just lucky that kid down in Mudpot had the common sense not to open it. I will never let it out of my sight again. It's my burden to bear, after all. Good luck, Dust. What else whispers to me? No. No, it can't be. The trees? The trees themselves whisper an ancient song! Somebody must chop them all down to silence their lies! Goodbye, Reed. Hello again, Flowhop. Hello, young man. I hope you're well. We found some clumps of red moss for you. Oh my, yes. These are lovely. They'll last me for quite a while. Here, why don't you stay for a while and have some soup? Guaranteed to be the best soup you've ever had. Uh, I appreciate the offer, but we're kind of in a rush. So we'll take it to go. That's a great idea. All right, here you go. Enjoy now. Thank you, Flohop. Take care. Here you go, Blop. Four Trolk Fingers. Don't spend them all in one place. Woo, Daisy! Bet I could play the piano with these puppies. That's assuming I know what a piano is. You done right by me, son. Here's a little token of my appreciation. Tell you what, since you're in the hunting mood, maybe you could help me with my tape. I don't see how those two things relate. Also, I don't want to see how those two things relate. What's wrong with your teeth, Blop? <laughs> Aside from the fact that I only got one left, I've been wanting to construct me some dentures. And if you can bring me ten rockhound teeth, I'd be sitting pretty. Er, smiling pretty. While I'm sitting. I've been keeping track of all the things people have asked you to do, Dust. This is probably the creepiest one so far. You said it, Fidget. All right, Blop, I'll get you some teeth. 